Hi guys, time for show and tell. I had so many requests about this Audrey wall, is what I'm calling her. And I wanted to share how um, I made some of these things and that are the little decorative accents. Um, a lot of people like um, using Dollar Tree items for decorating. And so that's kind of what I did on a lot of these um, different little knickknacks and stuff that I uh, made to kind of coordinate and to decorate. Um, for my beading wall right here. I'm going to be doing another video on another section of my workspace, but this is the area I like to call my beading wall, and I'm going to show you more detail. So this is Miss Audrey Hepburn, so um, this is wall is just dedicated to her right here. So let's see, let's start off with this little embellishing beading container holder is what I'm calling it but it's really um, a shoe organizer and it's stacked just perfectly with these containers that I got from the Dollar Tree and it just these just work in the perfect space so um, I bought all of these containers and it took me a while to collect them because they were just different at different locations they didn't have them um, this gold basket from the Dollar Tree, look, I even messed up, I didn't finish painting it, but it was red, but it's supposed to be gold now. Anyway, um, that is um, something I painted that is from the Dollar Tree. All of these containers in here are from the Dollar Tree. And um, then, let me see, right here is, these are called planters, and they're from the Dollar Tree as well. And they hold these really pretty big pearls. I didn't know where to put them. And since I love just the way they look and I ran out of space on my desk, I put them in there. Um, this is just like a thrift find. It's a belt, but I use it to organize other little stuff. But I just thought it looked so cool. And um, let's see. So these are some trays I have where I keep additional beads. Um, let's see. These are just stacked and stacked with different beads that I have here that I've kind of separated or I should say had my daughter and my son separate for me. These are little Dollar Tree um, organizers. They look like a little refrigerator or little um, closet organizers. You can use in drawers. Um, I have, I'm just using them as beading trays when I'm creating. I'm going to put them in individual little containers and these are some pearls and some embellishments and then some little tassels and just other little accents that I have right here. These drawers are from Ikea and I just changed the knobs and made them little crystal knobs on there. There's nothing important on them. I, I don't even have anything really organized in here. It's just little office um, stuff. I don't know what I'm going to be using it for. Um, this is a little drawer that I embellish just from here because I just want it to look pretty from over here and I ran out of fabric. <laughs> so this is going to be right here. This is all of my suede leather little um, cords so that the for the bracelets that I make that are out of the cord, out of this uh, suede cord. And so I have these all organized and some of these are different, a little bit silky. And then some of these are actually braids. And so there's quite a bit of them and then I keep them all right there. Okay, so moving on to this wall, this little mirror box right here, I made out of Dollar Tree mirrors. And the flowers are all from the Dollar Tree, and it's just a mirrored. It's just mirrored all the way around with, with mirrors, and then I just stuff the top with flowers, and then in the back, it's just open, so you can only see the flowers here. Um, these are the ones that everyone's asking about. These are um, mirrored bowls that they have at the Dollar Tree, and they come in several different sizes. I think they're probably on their way out of being in stock anymore because. Um, these have been used in so many projects already they probably wiped them out but these are all the bowls that I got from the Dollar Tree and 
I believe this is the medium size. They come in a large and then they come in a smaller size. And these are the ones that I got from there. So before I go into detail on my Audrey um, <clears throat> makeover, uh, so canvas, wall art, and it's from Ikea, by the way, and it did not have any of this embellishing, but I'll go over that in a little bit. But um, let me um, just get to the different little DIYs that were here. So this little container right there, that one, that's from the Dollar Tree, and it is, it was pink and I painted it rose gold and then this one also is from the Dollar Tree painted that rose gold and then these little stackable bins these are old but I um, glammed them up and those are from the Dollar Tree as well um, these little planters and there I am and these flowers and now for this section here this is where I have all my beading and some little overflow right here into smaller beads on this containers right here so let me start over here this is um right here i have some some more of the dollar tree flowers these are my swarovski crystals and then here i have different little um pieces that are for like the pewter pieces different little accessories there for making jewelry that's what you want to have some more curls so this is the main area where these bins are for tool um, by the bits um, screws nails all that and um, I got these at Harbor Freight and it is a black stand but then the bins are yellow so that really wasn't going to go with what I was trying to accomplish with the look so I went ahead and painted them white and my daughter took the liberty of putting them in the different color tones that they belong in and the little sections so that way they can have them nice and organized and then the bottom is for the textures and then let me see in here I have um, necklaces these are all in different little pouches that have to be finished or are needing charms or needing something this is overflow with more beads. These are my little palettes that I use so that I can design the necklace. And I mixed some of my little IKEA accessories. And then this is my little glammed up um, um, lamp shade, drum shade that I was going to throw away, but then I gutted the inside and placed, if you can see, see right through that dollar tree planter look i didn't even take the tag off and that's a planter right there that's holding up to the ceiling and unless you have that light on it you can't even see it and i added these little hanging decorations that are like acrylic crystals to make it look like a chandelier and then added these that are just little knobs but they're chunky crystals and they just look from far away like they're just dangling so that is the main area there well again and let me see okay so for the audrey what i did was i'm going to attach some photos as well and i'll just kind of show you what i did here with her i embellished her whole she was just it was just all black and a black dress and so I went ahead and added um, some black some gunmetal some white and some silver sequins and then I added pearls flat back pearls then I added rhinestones then I added Swarovski crystals on top and then um, have some gemstones and some other um, some brooches some jewelry that i broke up into pieces just to give her the jewelry <laughs> i rather she looked pretty and then i accented her dress with little shimmer and shine from far away 
with some of the gray it's kind of like a gray and black color so it was nice when it shined you can't really see so I kind of swiveled it around with my finger with the glue and then just kind of followed that pattern and then I gave her a bracelet and I gave her a really nice sleeve right here it was um, very very wannabe Alexander McQueen over here so it's it, it took a long time but it was well worth it I, I'm really pleased how she came out and then of course I made her her little tiara she actually just she didn't have a tiara I kind of made that for her and I don't even know what it was on her head before but this looked it was a total makeover but I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the pictures of before and after so this is the final wall this is what I worked on for her the next video I'm going to show the other wall that's the other section of my workroom and by the way these flowers I did not make these these were purchased at a wholesale flower shop they are just made of foam there are tutorials how to make them I've seen on YouTube I just personally didn't have the time to make it so I just I was kind of busy with all the other stuff I did Thank you for watching. I'm glad you liked this. If you did, please let me know and um, please subscribe for more videos. I'm just getting started.